very warm good morning to one and all present here. I welcome you all to for the in-house session. The resource person for today's session is Mr. Anjan Kumar Mishra. He is the physics faculty of Shinar Public School. He will be talking about teaching methodology with you. Over to you, sir. I welcome you.
then they apply their thoughts and they apply the fact in the real world. So that is the basic of the demonstration process. But when you are coming across the lecture method, lecture method, I have told you that lecture method is basically it is a theoretical base. It does not have any relevance to the experiment, it does not have any relevance to the demonstration. Sometimes it has and sometimes it does not have. So this is the basic difference between the lecture method and demonstration method. So, whenever we are going to the class, we neither use the lecture method nor use the demonstration method. So, if we take or if we take the sum of these, it means if we add these two things, lecture method and demonstration method, as well as demonstration method, then I think we can make them understand and we can have the highly effective intercessions with the students. So that is why we will take the lecture come demonstration now. You see in the picture, the teacher is doing some experiment, am I right? See in the picture, the teacher is doing some experiment. That experiment is nothing that is meant in the demonstrations of the things that is to be done in the class. And the teacher is doing this. Am I right? Yes. In demonstrations, what happens? When you are taking any things or any objects and relevant to the theoretical backgrounds, that is the lecture methods, in that time what happens, the students has always the tendency to ask the questions. Suppose we are taking some, suppose the Avaisa has told that class that the value of that G, I think you have this question, no? The value of G is not we are finding accurately on the surface of the whenever we are dealing with the experiment simple harmonious, am I right? That is the basic things. Yes. So sometimes when we say that it is known to everyone, all of you have done standard 10, I think, because we have gone to the schools, uh, basically in the English medium, and even in the uh, second board, so there in the syllabus, that the value of G is 9.8 in the first answer. And when you are doing the same experiment in the class, when we are demonstrating it, in that time we are not getting 9.8, we are getting more than that. But sometimes the students are keeping it 9.8, but this is not the fact. So this is the things that while doing the demonstration and while doing the theoreticals, this is the difference. While doing the experiment we are getting 10 and the value of G is 9.8 meter per second on the surface of the earth. So this is the basic difference. The lecture method and demonstration method. Lecture method is basically the theoretical method and demonstration method is basically the relevant with the ex relevant with the theory. Lecture method does not have an relevant experiment, but demonstration method it has got some experiment, some observation, and some and some uh, result. Also. Lecture method come demonstration method that is basically if you sum of these two, if you adopt this method, sometimes lecture and sometimes demonstrate it in front of the students, then that will come as lecture come demonstration method. If we adopt the process in the class, then we can have the highly effective class with the students. Right. 
these methods include the advantages of both the lecture as well as demonstration methods. It means what? When we are applying this method in the class, sometimes we are giving the, le the lecture the topic and if we, if we demonstrate it in front of the students, then they will have given some knowledge, they can think of it, they will arrive the questions in front of the students in front of the teachers. And this method, I think, if you adopt this method in the class, the class will be effective. And we can enjoy the class with the students. Next is what? What is the main purpose? Why we are adopting this process, lecture from demonstration methods? Can you tell me why can I adopt this lecture method from demonstration method? Anybody? Why should you adopt? I think I've given the basic things of it. If what is happening in lecture from demonstration method, so why will adopt it? Why should we? Why should we? Why should we use the lecture from demonstration method to make it effective in the class? Just reading of the material to the student. And then we demonstrate, we make the concept more clearer to the student. So we should use both side by side so that the concept is clear and we know that the equated theory makes the student acquainted with what we want to teach the class. Yes, you are exactly right. That is the that is the things that that is the way. This is the reasons, and this is why we are using this lecture from Dhamma Sutta to make the clear concept among the students. They are student in doubt. If there is a doubt, they read the questions, you can clarify in front of them by doing the experiment. Now the main purpose is what? First is to convey the information. To convey the information means the teachers should have the proper knowledge that what he is going to convey. That means regarding the experiment, what is the aim what is the objective of the experiment and what may the result come? That should be clear in front of the students. So teachers should convey all these things among the students so that they gain the knowledge. Next thing, to generate understanding. Yes. When the teacher is doing the experiment by taking some objects, the real object, then what happens? If it is coming in front of the table, the student will see and they may write the questions in front of this. So teacher have to convey these things. Second thing, when you are doing the experiment in front of the students, they will know if what are the things actually and what is happening in the experiment. So they have to understand, they will think of it, and they have the reason behind it, they will ask the questions, what is the reason behind it, why it is happening. So, the thing is that, we can make them understand by doing the experiment in front of them. Next is to stimulate interest. The thing that stimulate interest means when the students see the observations, see the practicals, they have different parts. Okay. So they will come after the experiment, they will ask me questions, why it is so, why not it? So they have some, they will get some knowledge, they will gather some knowledge and they will have their interest in that. That means we can create the interest by doing the demonstration or experiment in front of them. The purpose of demonstrations. What is the purpose of this demonstration? What is what facts they will get, the students will get by doing the demonstration in front of them. 
to improve the skill of the students to provide a various learning experience visual repetition help to memorize the contents yes once they see the things once they visual they can see the things they they have their memories right by doing the demonstrations in front of the students you can improve their skills also and some students they go another one will get pass if you are not demonstrating any things basically in science if you are demonstrating anything even the literature you can see the chart and other things also but the question is their development so by demonstrating you can you can develop their skills and you can demonstrate that you can you can develop their thoughts also and due to this when they do the experiment their confidence level will be high ki hum log kar payenge you know sochenge ki sab kiye hum log kar payenge so this is the way this is the main purpose of this project you can increase their confidence level next what is the basic purpose of lecture to provide structure knowledge structure knowledge is what structure knowledge is basically the area of the topic what you are going to teach in front of students that is the critical structure so you have to make the planning of it ki what topic you are going to teach in front of students so you have the proper structure of it proper structure mein the lesson plan is the most important role in lesson plan the topic and sub topics are there some topics of the principles some sub topics of the principles you can motivate them how you motivate them lecture mein thoda can you motivate the students by the lecture method anybody have any any one has any idea by lecture methods the teacher the we have attend the college the teach the professor are coming to us and they are giving the lecture whether they are understanding or not So, yes, we can motivate them. Can you can you tell me how we motivate them? When we are actually giving lecture, we are teaching them the public speaking. We are telling them the way to interpret the things that is intrapersonal intelligence development. So basically, we are talking about that. We are improving the caliber of speaking skills, delivering the things, so we can improve in that way. Yeah. Good. The thing is that how we motivate them. Suppose we are going to teach in the class, man has told you. But the thing is that you can share your things, your experience, the students' experience, the incident, so that you can motivate them. So that that motivation should be related to the topic, the topic that you are going to teach in the class. And once you have the push start in the class by motivating them. you can make them understand and they will have their own interest to observe your class and to listen your class whenever it is a topic we are going to topic there are so many areas but you will have to see the interest of area among the students in which area they are interested if you are teaching any topic they may not have their own interest Okay, they have already learned. So we have to give some new things so that they will take that interest. So we have to go for the area of interest among the students. Once you have come to the lecture methods, you may not have the demonstration of it. You cannot demonstration or you may not have the relevant experiment with it. But you can improve. the difficulty level of this theory or lectures if there is any difficulty if there is any difficulty in the concept that can be clarified by the lecture purpose of demonstration you cannot clarify because everything is not possible every questions or every theory is not possible to demonstrate in the class so that is why whenever there is a development of a concept you can clarify them with the help of only theory that is the lecture
one Chinese philosopher was there and he has told, he has given one quotation that quotation is what? I hear, I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. I think you are getting the meaning of this. I hear, what happened? This is basically for the students. I hear and I forget. It means when you are giving the lecture from the students, they are hearing, they, can, they are listening to us, but they are forgetting. They are forgetting. When they are going to the witch, when they go to the home, they are forgetting everything. When they are discussing with each other, they are forgetting. So what happens? I see and I remember. But if the students can see that demonstration, they can remember. They can remember, they can recall the things. And the next is, I do and I understand. अगर बच्चे अपने से करते हैं कोई भी एक्सपेरिमेंट को इफ द स्टूडेंट्स परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट देमसेल्व्स देन दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड बेटर देन द अदर थिंग्स आई थिंक दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड दे हैव द कांसेप्ट दे विल हैव द कांसेप्ट दे हैव द स्किल्स दे विल हैव द थ्योरी आइडिया दे कैन अप्लाई देयर थॉट इन द रियल वर्ल्ड सो दैट वाज गिवन बाय द चाइनीज फिलोसोफर Now let us come to know what are the basic steps for the lecture come demonstration. Yes, very important things. The step for the lecture come demonstration method. First is planning and presentation. So what is the planning and what is the present? Very, very important. Basically, in our school life, when you are coming to the class, what are you doing? What is there any planning for? Is there any, is there any planning? Or we are planning for the students? Anyone? We are planning. Anything we are planning for the students before coming to the class? Yes, we plan in our hands that we are going to teach the basically the medicine we are going to teach the students. Yes, we are checking out. Excellent. Yes, ma'am. 1.5. planning and presentation in planning and presentation the most important thing is the subject matter first thing what we are going to teach in the class subject matter sub in subject matter what happens the teacher should have the clear concept regarding the topic the theoretical idea as well have the practical knowledge of it Sometimes the student will ask you, "Is that any new thing? Am I any new thing?" So we have the clear concept here. So you can plan in that way so that when you are going to class and you are delivering your lecture in the class, you must have planned it properly so that you can present it well in the class and the class will be in that way. Next is. In that way, you can go the interest, the area of interest among the students. If you are going to the topic, you must go through the at least area of the topic which the students are more interested. आपने जो भी topic पढ़ा रहे हैं, उसमें बहुत सारे topic जो हैं, they are not taking much interest. कि वो लोग जोता है कि ये सब बेकार है, तो आगे भी go through the things so that later on when come the next class, we go through it. So that is why area of interest is more important among the students. So you have to plan in such way and such a topic and the subtopic so that their interest, their need of interest is more in the class and you can have the effective class. Second thing, when you are delivering your topic, you ask the question to the students so that they will have their knowledge. Second thing, they recall the things if they have learned. 
So by asking the questions, you can improve their knowledge. And if they don't ask, if they don't give the answer, you can you will explain it so that they will gather the knowledge regarding the topic that we are going to teach in the class. This is lesson plan. It's very important for all of us. Though I am not doing now, still I am not done in the schools. But earlier, when other schools are doing the lesson plan, lesson plan is very important. What happens? Lecture method is basically the boring method. I told you, it is the boring method. You have to make interest on it. So that is why lecture plan demonstrates the better things. So that is why you have to plan in such a way. The lesson plans we plan in such a way, such that there is topic and sub topics. So you have to write the principle. What topic you are going to teach? What sub topics are there? We cannot teach in a day. You make the arrangement in such a way so that you can take this class and you should have the control over the class among the student. Within 14 years, you can finish it. So that 35 by 35 minutes you finish it and 5 minutes you discuss among the student with the various questions so that they are able to know and then get the knowledge from them. That is the more important thing, the lesson plan. My question is whether you are doing, do you think that we are doing the same thing? Lesson plan. The topic and subtopics must be there. And in a topic and subtopics, sometimes when you are teaching, some principles are there. Okay? So that principle should be there in the subtopic and the topic. That should be clarified among the students. You have to give the clear concept of it. So that should be a topic and subtopics. Okay? Actually, we have the tendency to fill in the syllabus sometimes because we are not. In a question, sometimes we are going back, sometimes going to the house, we are absent for so many days. So we are not able to fill in the topic in time. That is why we are, our lesson plan is sometimes here. Am I right? Yes, sir. We are not able to cope up with the lesson plan. So that's why the, you plan the lesson plan in such a way so that if you are going to the class, you can deliver the time. If you are making the lesson plan too long, you cannot deliver it because your time is 40 minutes. You have to complete it in 35 minutes. Sometimes you demonstrate it and five minutes for the questions and answers set among the students. So you have to plan the lesson plan in such a way so that you can complete it in 40 minutes. In some school with 35 minutes, you have to take the class of 30 minutes and five minutes you have to discuss among the students. Next is rehearsal and experiment. Yes. Rehearsal and experiment is what? The, when you are doing the class, basically the science teachers, when you are doing the class, even the geography and history teacher, there are so many uh, things are there that you can demonstrate in the class. Before going to the class, you must have the rehearsal. That means you rehearse it before going to the class. If one day earlier or two days earlier or half an hour before, so that you can have the clear concept, you can have the demo over it in front of the students. So you have to rehearse. We, we, we don't have, we cannot do it because we don't have the time. But we, we, this way you have to plan, so that you can, you, once you rehearse it, you will have the better knowledge, you will have your confidence to the level will be high, you can make the students happy, you can read the questions, the students read the questions, you can answer the questions because already you have done it. So before going to the class, we must have the rehearsal of the experiment. Even standard 9th I learned the Next is collation and arrangement. What is this collation and arrangement? Basically, when you are doing the experiment, there are so many apparatus. Am I right? Then they collect. So you collect this apparatus and there should be proper arrangement. That means if you have suppose we have the class. Go to the class at 11 a.m. We are having the practical in chemistry lab or physics lab or any science lab or geography or uh, uh, mathematics lab. Mathematics lab is there. So you have to collect everything before going to the class, before going to demonstrate it, and you should have the proper arrangement of it. So it should be either in one day before. Or it should be, if you, we are maybe doing it one day before, then I think it will be better. And because you have to arrange it, and second thing, second thing, you collect all the things that is necessary for the experience. 
And sometimes what happens? I'm actually I went and sharing one views. The rest of the world. I'm sharing one views. One sharing one experience in the life. I was working in schools, in one school, and I was the external of physics in some behavior organizations, DV schools, Raja. Sir might be going. Now he's the I think now he's the director of the area. He's the director. I went there, Ranchi. There was a practical there was a practical for seven days. I was there. But when I, the first day I came to the schools, I asked one student, you have done it. Can you demonstrate it? In front of the teacher, I got. So, Hassan went up. To auto turn in mind. Then I asked their teacher to demonstrate it. Teacher, he making teacher turning for the result of the head. the result of the unica. Unica. Then I asked the teacher, Sapne the PA experiment to. Introduction of lessons. First is presentation of subject matter. You will present the subject matter in such a way such that you share your experience, you share the student's experience, you share your school experience, you share your college experience in front of the student so that you can motivate them and you can motivate them and that sharing must be at least should be related to the topic that they are going to teach so that they will have their interest and you can create a good climate, good situation in the class and you will have a comment about the class. I think that is the presentation of the subject matters. Suppose I am studying Koenichit, suppose I am taking math class and I am taking suppose algebra and I am asking the questions but should have the proper knowledge of it. What is the amount of the rules there? Should have planned in such a way. Before that, we have to share something among them so that among them so that it will be relevant to the topic and they you can create the interest, area of interest, and you can motivate them. And you will have the better class and you will have the control over the class. Control is very important things in class. If you cannot control the class, that means you cannot teach in the class. Either the students is not listening or you are not capable to teach. Next is experimentation. You demonstrate it, the result you get, you want to experiment. In experiment, what happens? It is so far as my experience time. If we are making the group, suppose there are 50 students in a class, and if we are making the group of 25, it is not possible to demonstrate the 50 students. At a time, it is very difficult. So that is why divide it into two groups, group A and group B. Twenty-five come in the group A and twenty-five will come in the group B in different days. So what happens? When you do the experiment, you have all the proper idea. Once you show that time in a proper in a particular time, 
they will confuse what is this, what is that. So we keep the proper arrangement one by one and display all these things one by one. So then clarify the things, what is this, what is that, what is the other things, and what is the function of this, what is the function of other things. So arrangement, giving the experimentation and correction of the objective arrangement, the important thing while performing the experiment. So that they will able to Second thing is while doing the experiment, you can ask the question to the students. In the meantime, or after the experiment, or before the experiment, before start, if you ask the question before the experiment, then I think it will be better for the student. So they will have the, some knowledge, they will recall the things they have learned in the class. So that is better if you have the question, some question section about the student before doing the experiment. And in the experiment, this is very important thing, the correction arrangement. If you display all the things at a time, they will confuse. They will confuse. This is what, that is what. We will lose our time. We cannot save the time. Because our time is 40 minutes. So you have to perform and you have to explain it. So this is the proper arrangement, the proper corrections to be there. And you display it one by one so that they can understand, they will know the things, what is this and what is that. Next is blackboard one. Sometimes what happens, we are doing the blackboard one, no doubt. But what happens when you while doing the experiment, while you perform the experiment by the students or while we are doing the experiment? What happens? The result is coming. Definitely you get some result. The important principle must be to write in the blackboard. And second thing, second thing, the result, the end, the objective, or the result that you are getting, that you have to write. At least the result should be mentioned, and the principle should be mentioned. If on which principle it is going, what is the principle we have used, and what is the result, what is the observation? What is the observation? What is the result is coming? That must be mentioned in the blackboard. So that they will note down this. They will lose it plus me that they will note it down. What happens? They will lose it plus me that they write student, then they address student, then they uh, what? Flow learner. Uh, yeah. So there are so many kinds of students, background you see, there are so many background, they are coming from different background. So you have to be vigilant in that class. Why vigilant? Vigilant means what they are noting down, they are write down or not, that is very important. If they, not, if they are not doing, not doing these all things, that means they are not, they are not writing all these things that will display the board. That means they will fall in trouble in the next class, while they are coming the next class. So if they write it, you have to be vigilant. If they are not writing, you have to ask them to write. And if they are, if they are writing the one advantage they will get, the most important things, that since it is relevant to the subject, so they will clarify the doubts when they, when they go and learn the topic. From the book. So that is very important so that they will note down the note down the observation and the result. If you are, they will think of it, they will apply it in the real world. So that is why experimentation is very And before experiment, you should have all these things. The black work must be there. Second thing is supervision. Supervision, I told you, you have to teach as to supervise whether the students are doing or not. In a supervision, whatever, there are so many students. Some are writing, some do not write, some are not taking interest. So you have to demonstrate in such way so that you can create the client, you can create the situation between the client and the students. In such way, so they come to you and they will ask the question. That is the demonstration process. You have to explain and you have to demonstrate in such a way so that they will come, you not go there, that students will come and they will ask the questions. This do it is not possible in every situation, every class. But if we try, we can shoot them. I did my master degree MSc from NIT Jamsetko. That time was NIT RIT. And Mr. Professor actually does not be RIT. He was my attorney. And my special paper was basically of optics. That is ledger and their application. These are new papers. So I don't actually we have learned in BSC writing by graduation from some other university. So we have the knowledge, but later that was the deep He did his PhD in holographic technology. Hologram, up to some of hologram. Yes, he did his PhD from holograph technology from IIT Delhi under the great optics, Mr. Ajay Ghatak, Dr. Ajay Ghatak, professor, and head of the department of IIT Delhi. 
the methods he has adopted in the class and he has delivered in front of us and that's I am going to deliver in front of you. What I, what he told and what I learned that I am going to deliver in front of you. Even now he is there, now still he is there in adding up. This method involves active participation from the parts of both the teachers and the students. Lecture from demonstration method is a good strategy to create and maintain interest and thrill of the students. This is very important. Okay, once you are demonstrating, you don't do you are demonstrating the things, we are creating the interest among the students. Alright, they come to know ki why this is happening, how this is happening. They discuss with the students. Even if they are not able to understand things, they again come to the teacher and they ask the teacher hey, why it is happening. Why it is not? It should be this like, it should be this like. It should be that. So there is so many questions, there is so many skills they have developed, there is so many things they have added from the experiment and they will ask the, the, uh, they will ask the different questions in front of the teachers. So you have to, you have to experiment in such, you have to do the demonstration in such way so that they will ask the questions and they will gather the knowledge from it. Second thing, they will have, once they are creating internet, they have to create once they are coming to ask the question, it means they are maintaining the interest. Second thing, the zeal of the students. The zeal of the students means, can you tell me the zeal of the students? No, I am not asking you. Zeal of the students. Sangeetam, can you ask me zeal of the students? What is this? I have told you, I have listened to you. I have told you that when you are doing the experiment, we are, they are, we are creating, we are demonstrating in such a way, such that they are asking the question to us. It means we are maintaining the interest among them. Am I right? Yes, and then how, how you say that they, they are chill of students. We, we are, what we are performing the experiment, it is chill of students. Chill, J-D-L. We are just encouraging them. No, we are actually creating a curiosity. What we yes, are that is the chill. Curiosity, that is the chill. What happens? I'm 
Lecture from demonstration method is very effective for imparting education and it has positive impact on the student's learning and experience. I think if you follow this process by giving some part of lecture and by showing some to them that is by demonstrating it, I think we can have the better learning, we can motivate the students, we can have the uh, they, we can uh, we can uh, develop the chill among the students so that they can maintain their interest with the teachers, with the topic and they can maintain the decorum and discipline the course. So teachers, you have any query regarding this session?